All right, so this video is extremely late, but um, Giants, Cardinals, MetLife Stadium, we lost 27 to 21. Um, I think this is the game that pretty much locked in the fact that we're not a good football team. We lost to the Cardinals. Cardinals are, well, I would say they're just as bad as us, but I think after today, it's pretty clear that they're better than us. I mean, they single-handedly just beat us. You know, it, it's just real no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They ran all over us. You know, um, uh, Chase Edmonds had a game. He had three touchdowns. Um, you know, uh, we couldn't stop the run. It was so bad that Kyler Murray only threw for... What, 100 yards? A little over 100 yards? That goes to show you how, how much... For them to score 27 points, it goes to show you how much damage they did on the run, on the, uh, on the ground today. And um, not happy at all about uh, this game at all. Um, I've been saying the whole season that Nate Solder... Um, uh, Mike Rimmers, our right tackle. So Nate Solder, Mike Rimmers, them, them two are absolutely terrible. Um, uh, Chandler Jones, linebacker for the Cardinals, had four sacks today. Um, I mean, who didn't have a sack today, to be honest with you? Chandler Jones had four. Terrell Suggs had one. Corey Peters had one. Brooks Reed had one. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, Daniel Jones had... Um, he fumbled three times and lost the uh, lost two out of those three fumbles. Uh, he threw this one pick where I don't even know who he was throwing to. I mean, it looks like he was throwing a Golden Tate, but Golden Tate was double covered, and Jordan Hicks stepped right in front of it and picked it off. Um, I I, I want Pat Shermer fired. I, I blame him for this. I understood the hiring a few years back. You know, with us having, I mean, with Eli getting towards the end of his career, you knew the Giants were going to draft the quarterback at some point, and um, I, I honestly believe that's why Shermer was bought in. Shermer is known for being a quarterback whisperer, you know, from the things he has done with uh, other quarterbacks in, you know, his time in Minnesota and his time in, um, in Philadelphia as well. As uh, the offensive coordinator, I uh, believe, under Andy Reid. And I believe he was the offensive coordinator under Chip Kelly as well. Um, so I most certainly see why Gettleman brought someone like him along to help groom our next franchise quarterback, who is now Daniel Jones. Um, now that that's good, I mean, after this season, I see no reason to keep Pat Shermer. I mean, this man is terrible. I mean, just look at his record. I, I, I think he has... Is his record 17 and 39, I think? he's He's been head coach for two teams. Um, it is, what is this, his fourth? I think this is his fourth season as a head coach. Um, he was had two seasons under... Cle, uh, when he was in Cleveland, and he had two with the New York Giants. I hope... This is, I hope it's just two for the New York Giants. I, I don't want this man back next year. Um, I want him gone. Shula, our offensive coordinator, I want him gone. James Betcher, he got to go too. I mean, I'm not happy with that entire coaching staff. Um, you know, and, and back to this offensive line, because I really believe that line is the reason why we lost today. Oh, there's several reasons why we lost today, but that's a big one, you know, because of more so Nate Solder, you know, with how much money you're paying someone like Nate Solder, our left tackle, and for him to just give up. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure how many sacks he actually gave up today, because I believe Chandler Jones was on Mike Rimmer's most of the game, but, um, yeah, I mean, Solder hasn't looked good so far. Um, John Halipio, our center, you know, he, he's, a center, I believe, is one of the most important positions on offense, and 
I mean, before we signed John Halipio, I didn't even know who this man was. You know, he, he broke his leg at the beginning of the season last year. This is the first season that he's starting, uh, I guess, the full year on any team, to be honest. And, I mean, he's kind of it's predictable. It's, he looks exactly like what most people thought he would look like. You know, a guy who was undrafted, you know, I believe he was he was selling cars just a few years ago, and now he's our center, you know. And, um, and last but not least, Mike Rimmers. Mike Rimmers, well, first, our right tackle, our history at right tackle, especially over the last five, six years. I mean, I think the last good right tackle we've had was probably Justin Pugh, and that's not saying much because Justin Pugh, um, he – he was so bad at tackle they moved them to guard. Um, so clearly we don't we we don't we aren't that good when it comes to uh, trying to protect that right side. It, it's time to draft a tackle. You know we tried drafting one of Fears back with Eric Flowers. Clearly that didn't work out well. It's time to get another give it another shot. You know these free agent tackles just aren't doing it. You know. Um, it, <sighs> I mean, I already talked about how awful Soldier is. Mike Rimmers, you know, quite frankly, Mike Rimmers is more of a placeholder. You know, uh, Chad Wheeler was our right tackle last year, and Chad Wheeler, you know, I mean, like I said, we've we've had just bad history on that right side, and he's a part of it, you know. Um, so it's time we actually – we might actually need to completely revamp that entire offensive line. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm sold on Will Hernandez anymore. And I was extremely high on Will Hernandez. When we drafted Will Hernandez last year, um, that was one of my favorite picks. You know, one of the best picks I thought the Giants did have done in a while. You know, and I thought it was the perfect pick to go in the second round right after drafting Saquon Barkley in the first round. But I'm not impressed with him so far. He had, um, he's had he had a, actually he had a pretty crucial holding penalty today that uh, basically negated this huge run by Saquon, and um, it's just that whole line is is really inconsistent. I put most of the blame on the coaching staff, but we also have to get better players, especially on that offensive line. You cannot expect a rookie quarterback to progress behind. You know, that absolute garbage that's in front of them. Um, Sterling Shepard didn't play again, so Golden Tate's clearly our number one guy. And, uh, I mean, honestly, once you go double cover our number one guy on this offense, there's really no one else to, to really worry about, you know, on defense. You know, maybe Evan Ingram... But um, here's the thing. Like I don't, I don't even think our passing game is really an issue. But we can't seem to find balance on offense because of how bad our line is, you know. So I don't know. I can rant all day about this game. I won't. Uh, this team is terrible. Giants fall to two and five. Uh, we got the Lions next week. That's a loss. I don't even know. I, I think it's at home. Or maybe, I don't even know where it's at. But it's a loss, regardless of where we play. It doesn't matter, to be honest. Um, and I believe we got the Cowboys right after that on Monday Night Football. You already saw what they did to us week one. Probably going to do it again uh, two weeks from now. So, uh, Giants fall 21-27 to to the Arizona Cardinals. Can't believe I'm actually saying that. And... Yeah, I guess right now my main focus is just seeing, you know, what Daniel Jones is really made of for the rest of the season because this, this team's clearly not good enough to compete, let alone make a playoff push. So, uh, till next time, uh, peace.